The saga of Cinnamon Lodge started four decades ago in 1979, when the then chairman of John Keel's holdings, Mark Bostock, chose this isolated village to build a hotel with 150 suites. The site Bostock selected was arid and dry, but was rich in history and heritage. Bostock invited two young architects, trained in Copenhagen and who had served as assistants to the world-renowned architect Jeffrey Bava to design and build the complex. Thus, architects Ismet Rahim and Feroz Choksi took on this monumental task. Inspiration for the architecture was derived from the nearby Ritigala Monastery, hidden in the lone mountain range visible from Habrana. Adapting the austere meditative style of the 5th century monastery while catering to contemporary functionality and need became the challenge for Rahim and Choksi. Habarana was a hub long before Bostock envisioned it would become one. Its location served as a military staging post, dating back to the 10th century, a fact which may have to do with its proximity to Ritigala, from where many rebellions had been planned and launched against ancient kingdoms. It is believed that its name is derived from the word Abaranea, which means ornaments and jewelry. Legend has it that a queen fleeing from her enemies and tormentors hid her jewelry in the ledges and crevices of Habarana's rocky outcrops. The inscriptions on the rocky cliff at the entrance to the cinnamon complex are some of the earliest epigraphical examples that were translated into English and established the ancient origins of this important site. The Cinnamon Habarana Complex sits on the banks of the Mirisgonia Oe, a tank which forms part of the cascading tank system that linked an ancient irrigation network. Working through gravity, this system of tanks still operates and is believed to have been developed by kings in the 5th century to facilitate agricultural irrigation in the dry zone and to provide clean water to residents of Anuradhapura, the capital of Sri Lanka from about the 2nd century BCE until the 11th century of the Common Era. From the 1800s onwards, after the advent of the Dutch, Portuguese and English colonizers, Habrana became an important stopover point for anyone traveling from the west coast to the east coast, particularly to Trincomalee and Batiklo. Trincomalee has historically been one of the most important natural harbors in the Indian Ocean. During colonial times, Habarana also became a staging point for hunters who used it to set up camp before hunting in the area, which is still rich in wildlife. In the 1840s, it became a post for the British Army. This may have been one reason why Mark Bostock, a third-generation Britisher married to a naval officer's daughter based out of Trincomalee, was familiar with its use as a resting point en route to Trincomalee.